Hello everyone, this is Third, and we're going to talk about downgrading Windows 8 into Windows 7. Okay, let me just tell you some hints, some tips why lots of people are moving into the, uh, Windows 7 from Windows 8. Because this Windows 8 is not user friendly and it is very hard to navigate. You know that it's not user friendly. Uh, and most of all, they are all compatible with touch screens. So, with regards to that, all the people are turning back into Windows 7 from Windows 8. I write a three step, three simple step here to navigate it in your own or anybody who can help you with, which has the technical knowledge of formatting the laptop or any desktop it it will work on any laptop or desktop both of them so the first one we're going to do is to disable the secure boot in the bios you have to go to the bios some some laptop companies the bios option comes from the f2 all the hp is f10 and some of them they vary it depends on the manufacturer just observe the manuals and you get it getting there on the bios don't forget to disable the secure boot, okay? And the second one, ta -da! change the UFEI value to CMOS on that same BIOS. You're going to see that on the boot option. So after doing that, you are going, you will be ready to do the final steps. Set, you can see it clearly, set the boot device sequence or option. For example, you are formatting from a DVD or a CD, you have to select the first boot option into a CD or a DVD. Or same like if you are booting from a USB, set the first boot in that USB. And then, boom, you're going to have your laptop downgraded from Windows 8 into Windows 7 in no time, no hassle. Process is everything, all the process is good or fine. So if you have any technical problems, don't forget to subscribe on this channel. So I'm going to help you by my email or, or any terms. I do have my website. It can help you a lot. Okay? I hope it helps you. Bye-bye.